Hey, what is going on guys? It is Young here and today I'm back with another Fortnite tips and tricks video for you guys And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to camp in Fortnite You know, everybody's talking about how they can camp in Fortnite and camping doesn't take any skill whatsoever I'm gonna show you guys my step-by-step -step method on how I can absolutely finesse the system and win every single game by camping in Fortnite And before we get to the video, if you guys want a chance to win 2,000 V-Bucks All you have to do is drop a like on this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications And leave a comment down below of your Xbox Gamer tag PSN gamer tag or epic account okay so I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video how to camp in Fortnite and not just only how you camp because that's just pretty simple like people say camp in a corner now I'm gonna give you guys some absolutely godly tips and tricks to go along with this so you, so you guys can win every single game in Fortnite so first let's start off with landing location of course you want to land at the absolute outskirts of the map so you don't run into anybody or run into the minimal amount of players I had a bad drop in this game because I wasn't paying attention I was texting on my phone so I ended up landing at uh, Paradise Palms I was like why not I'm gonna land right here i only ran to one guy not a problem usually when i want to have a absolute win a guaranteed win usually what i do is i would land somewhere like junk junction or at the crate somewhere you can get steel because you always want to have that steel one by one at the end of the game because i'm going to get to that in a minute and exactly why you want to have your one by one out of steel i'm going to break down the science behind it and give you guys and give you guys a step by step on how high you should build your one by one where you should place it and when you need to be camping in a one by one i'm going to break down everything in this video unfortunately you can't camp every situation like right here when i came from the drift all the from paradise i kind of had to fight this guy i didn't really have a choice there's nothing there's not much i could do so i pretty much had to fight him but he decided to run away which i was completely okay with i wasn't complaining so what i got here is i got the golf cart and you guys are about to see exactly what i'm about to do since the amount of steel i had in this game was very very low i knew i couldn't camp in too many one by ones because i can only build about one maybe one and a half layers there's not much i can do with it so i had to think of another situation another way so i can get that easy dub so what i was going to do is i was looking at the circle my golf cart breaks you know i'm, I'm guarding garbage like that. But the thing Epic likes to do is he always likes to give you really, really good circles. As you can see, I'm right in the circle, barely on the edge, and there is a perfect restroom to go camp in. Come on, Epic, you can't be doing this to me. You already know, if you give me something like this, I'm going to finesse it, GG. And right here, I'm going to wait it out. And see, here's a little tips and tricks. You want to open it from the outside, because when you open it from the outside, the door's in. Because if you open it from the inside, the door's going to push out. And usually, more people are going to notice that. So if you push it in, you can get a better look because if you push it out right then you can't see from the right side because the door will be on the right side so if you push it in then you can see the entire outside you can see the entire map and if you're on the edge of the circle that only means people are going to be coming from in front of you they can't come from behind you because the storms are going to be there maybe in the first maybe like 20 seconds if someone's rotating out of the storm but if you're in a one by one they're going to be shooting at you and you're going to know exactly if they're pushing you or not so that's another good reason why to camp on the edge of the circle there's two things you can do you can either jump into the middle and just how to go to the middle of the circle try to find a camping spot in there or you can play the edge of the circle like i did in this game where and when you're in the middle of the circle there's also a chance you can get pinched and that's not something you want to have happen but if you play the edge of the circle you might have to risk a, like a bad circle you have to go all the way across the map but at the same time you're not going to get pinched because the only place people can come from is in front of you or maybe to your left and to your right but they're not going to be from behind you so that cuts off another angle and when you want to get dubs in fortnite when you want to camp the most important thing is you want to challenge the least amount of people and you want to play the circle you want to play time right the longer you're in the game the further you're going to go so that's really really important and one thing you're going to notice going into the late game i'm going to have max shield a good weapons a good amount of loot and this is going to save me time after time because if you're not challenging anybody and you have max shield you're, you're, you're golden, you're set, you're going to be absolutely perfect going into the late game, when you're going to be fighting, you're going to be third partying everybody, you're going to be fighting people that are going to be low on shield, low on health, low on ammo, and you're just going to be absolutely finessing. Another advanced strategy you can do is you can place a pyramid in that restroom, and it's going to give you an extra layer of protection, if someone wants to shoot at you, there's nothing they can do, they're going to be spraying at you, and if you're in your triangle, a lot of times, they're not even going to know you're there, they're going to be walking right past you, and because they're going to think there's no one in there, like, who camps in there? That's the, that's the purpose you want to be so unpredictable you want to be so obvious with it you want to camp so hard that people just ex just expect you not to be there and that's the whole goal if someone would have came out if someone would have walked around and looked in the rush and saw a pyramid they'd be like oh it's just, it's just a pyramid in the rush room. like you know it's not suspicious like it, you know you would, you would never expect it you don't expect people to play like that and that's the entire purpose and that's why it is so effective i've gotten so many kills that way and absolutely finessed cheeks just by using that strategy of just being so unpredictable and being so camping at the game that people just don't expect it it's free kills so i got pushed out by the circle a little bit but i'm still playing the edge of the circle and i'm building myself a 
one by one. See, nobody wants to challenge me because if they challenge me, GG, they're getting absolutely clapped if they're coming near me. So I'm just sitting back waiting for anything to happen and of course no one's pushing and I probably would have built this out of steel if I had enough steel because you always want to save your steel until you get to the last couple circles and you have the biggest high ground and that's where you would have placed your metal one by one and I'm going to break it down exactly why you want to build it out of metal as opposed to brick and of course as opposed to wood. Of course if you don't have enough steel brick is also a good alternative but metal is the absolute king of one by ones and I'm going to show you guys exactly why. Alright so here I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to take down a, a wooden one by one and how difficult it is to take down a steel one by one and I'm gonna break it down exactly what you need to take one each one of them down of course explosives they can do an absolute mess to metal one by ones but when it comes to bullet damage there is zero comparison just watch it explains everything here of course I have a blue AR and look I can take down this entire wooden one by one with just one clip it took one clip of a blue AR to take down the entire structure. Imagine, like it only took th it only took 30 shots, and that's very very quick. You can take it down within five seconds. So here is the steel one by one, and of course I have the blue AR again. I'm gonna shoot one mag into this, and by the time I finish the one mag, that's when the wooden one by one would have already been done. But it just sucked. It is absolutely sucked in the bullets. I spray in another clip. Can't destroy it off of two clips. That's two wooden one by ones, and it takes me three clips. It takes me three clips to destroy that deal one by one. That is such a difference. That is three times. That is three times the amount of shots you have to shoot to shoot it down. And that's why it's so effective. And that is why the camping steel one by one is so freaking good in this game. The, really, the only way to take it down is if you try to shoot at a guy in a, in a one by one, you're going to get absolutely sprayed out of. So the only thing you can do is if you have explosives. So the proper height, the proper height of a one by one is four high. Cause if you get shot down by explosives, you don't take any fall damage from four high any higher, and you're gonna take a good amount of fall damage. So if you just in case, just in case they have explosives and you want to get down very quickly, what you can do is you can build it four high. That is the magic number and how high you want to build your one by one. It all comes down to a science, guys. Like it's all, it, it's all math. It's all math. If you build up four high you take zero fall damage. If you build up five high, you're gonna take fall damage. It's just, it's, just, it's just math. Guys, it's simple. It is absolutely simple, and I'm explaining it the best way I can. And right here, I was getting shot a little bit from the side, so what I can do is I can put up walls to prevent myself from getting shot, and of course, unless he has a sniper or something that he has absolutely a god with. And this guy, he almost kills me. Because watch, watch this. I'm gonna show you guys exactly why he almost killed me. He almost out-camped me. This guy actually almost out camped Young, and that's impressive. If you can out camp me and, and, and destroy me that way, props to you. You're an absolute god at the game, and I give all props to you. And look, I'm about to go up, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how this dude almost outplayed me. I had no idea. So here I am ramping up, about to grab this guy's loot. Uh, he died earlier to a sniper, and so I'm grabbing this loot, and while I'm grabbing this loot, I get absolutely sprayed, you guys are about to see. So I'm grabbing the loot, and I'm getting sprayed, I'm like, where's this guy? This dude's in the freaking tree! This guy's actually camping in the tree, I've never seen this! That is honestly straight up quality play right there, quality play by that guy. I I almost got destroyed, I had no idea where this guy was at, he was shooting at me. It took me a good like solid three seconds to realize, and this guy was absolutely knocking, knocking my health down with his scar. And I think he also had a, a, a heavy too, either a gold heavy or a purple heavy. Just, I just knocking my walls down, there was nothing I can do. Absolute goat. I should be taking tips and tricks from this guy. This guy knew exactly what he was doing. It's, he was finessing in the tree, and he's still tagging me. He doesn't. He does not care. This guy just absolutely doesn't care. And I, I now I have the circle about to push me out in a second. And what's gonna happen is this guy's actually gonna get sniped from a guy behind him. Thank God, because this guy was finessing me. And as he came down, he put down a bounce pad so he didn't take any fall damage at all. And this guy just absolutely not real, just not letting up. This guy is spraying at me, trying to knock down my shield. He's about to get sniped from the back, so I knock him down a little bit. And here's the part where he gets sniped from a guy behind him. No, GG. I'm about to get my free loot. I don't even know where the guy who sniped him from. I guess he was behind the tree somewhere. Somewhere on that hill. I had no idea. I didn't see him. That's what I was trying to look out for, but I had no idea where this guy was. So I'm going to use my bouncer to get down and grab this dude's loot. And then, of course, push the circle. Try to get my one by one up. So I grabbed that guy's loot. I found a rift to go. So I'm going to use that rift to go that I found at the beginning. And what I want to do, of course, I'm going to go to the, the biggest high ground. And this is right here. Of course, there's already a guy here. So if you don't rotate early, you're going to get outbeat. So, of course, sometimes you have to fight. But 
but ultimately the goal is you just want to play one by ones you want to play high ground and just absolutely finesse so here i have the high ground and i'm not going to jump down i'm going to wait for this guy and i just realized that the circle was pushing me out so this guy had this guy just, this guy's clueless this guy is absolutely clueless that i used the bouncer i don't know how he didn't hear it this guy's probably got some apple headphones or something because he didn't hear a thing he didn't hear a thing this guy still thought i was up there he's like where'd he go he thought i was camping in the circle or something so of course now i'm just pushing up i got a few shots on this guy and he's just playing really defensive and the, just knocked this dude with the double barrel and he double barreled me too i lost all of my shield so right now of course you just want to sit back grab some heals up and i want to play the circle i want to make sure i'm not going to get pinched by anybody so i'm going to shoot a few rocks in this building because i know there's a guy over here Unfortunately, I did not have the best of circles. So I wish the ending circle would have been on a hill because you already know I would have got up my still one by one and there would have been nothing they can do. I knew the last players were in front of me because there's no one behind me. And just in case I needed to, I had a few bouncers to go to the circle. And if, if, if the game would have lasted a little bit longer, of course, I would have built that one by one in the circle and just absolutely finessed from there. But I know these guys are over here and I know the circle is coming in. So I'm up here camping in my high ground, shooting a few rockets, just being absolutely cancer, pulling out my score, shooting at these guys coming out of the circle and these guys are both about to die to the circle so of course i didn't know that right away so i'm going towards the circle and both of these guys died to the circle what are you doing gg absolutely insane gameplay 20 kills boys 20 kill gameplay if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like this video make sure to drop a like make sure to subscribe to the channel turn on my notifications and all right guys i will see you in the next video